Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on the service calendar in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In other videos, we've covered how to set up and schedule within the service calendar, and in this video, we'll take a look at some additional service calendar functionality. Firstly, resource groups. You can set up groups of resources like trainers or consultants that can then be used when creating service resource rules. Go to Settings and Business Management, and then Resource Groups. Click New, and give the group a name. Click Save and then click Resources in the left-hand navigation menu. Add new resources and select the ones you want. Click OK and then click Save and Close. Now, if I go to a service, I can use that group when it comes to selecting resources from a list. Secondly, let's consider users' work hours. You may have a user available to carry out a service, but perhaps they only work part-time or they are going on holiday. With this in mind, you can edit their work hours so that available service times take this into consideration. First, navigate to the user in question within System Administration, or you can navigate via the service they are involved in or from the service calendar. Click on Work Hours and under Setup you can set the weekly schedule and when it comes to the actual work hours you can also set up any relevant restrictions against the service they are involved in. You can also specify when a user is having some time off and I'll schedule a day off for myself for the 12th. If you just want to edit one day, you can double click on the day and then edit. The system only provides available times in the service scheduling area, having taken into consideration when a user is at work. The user view also shows associated services and resource groups for this user. Finally, let's consider sites. You may have different office locations within your business unit where service operations take place and certain resources may only be available at one site or another. With this in mind, you can create sites and assign resources to that site. When it comes to using the service calendar, you can then also specify the site and available times will only be displayed if the resources are also assigned to the site. First we need to set up the site, so we go to Settings, Business Management, Sites, and we see that we already have London as a site. Click New and we'll add Manchester. You can add address details and a time zone if required. Click Save and then select Resources that work at that site from the left-hand navigation menu. Click Add Resources and we can now add the resources associated with this site. I'll choose my original trainers and the projectors and then save the record. Now I go back to the service calendar and look to schedule a training day.
I'll fill in the details as normal, and if on this occasion I leave site blank and then find the available times, the new site column shows where this service can take place. If I do actually fill in the site and accidentally choose the London office, then no records will be returned. In changing the site back to Manchester, I can now see the available times for my resources. And also note that because I amended my work hours to say I'm holiday on the 12th, there are no appointments available for me on that particular day. From the previous video, I've already booked out on the 11th as well. As you can see, the service calendar offers a fair amount of functionality. It's well worth mapping out your sites, resources and services before setting them up. Remember to always read the help files if you have any problems. But in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic video.